Welcome everyone, this is my new series, Grounded. Uh, I am collabing with Cass from Control Alt Silence. I will put a link to his Discord and channel in the description below. I hope you all enjoy this new series. We're having a lot of fun making it and look forward to uh, exploring this new world. Basically, it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids meets Ants. So I hope you all enjoy. Until next time, see ya. So what do you think the time frame is for this game? Is it 80s? I, I think uh, with the hairstyle and the clothing I, in the whole animation, I'd say like the 80s, but it's oh, 1990. It said. Yeah, yeah, it, it just said. said. <laughs> 1990s. It reminds me more of the 80s than the 90s, though. <laughs> so here we are. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids meets Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> How would you say meet that? <laughs> oh, there you go. like it but where is here pete all right guys this is for my followers and cast's followers steppers and silencers welcome to grounded this isn't quite a first look me and uh cast gave it a whirl earlier and got our butts whooped uh yeah pretty much got eaten by everything and its mother so um oh don't but forget we, uh, it's dying of starvation too oh yeah oh yeah starvation <laughs> Yeah, that's always fun. You know, you're the size of uh, an ant and you can't eat all the cookies all over the yard. Hell, the ants um, are bigger than us. <laughs> yeah. So, right. we haven't decided which way, who's going to do what, guys. So, you get to watch in the maze and we get to watch in the maze. Let's see. Hey, you yes. disappeared. <laughs> Sorry, I was picking up rocks. Uh, oh. Ooh. Looking good, man. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, mushrooms. Food. Gotta gotta secure that early food. Right? I'll, uh, uh, you collect the food for us, and I'll collect the build material. How's that sound? Works for me. Um, let's uh, get to that field station. I know it's nearby. Yeah, it's straight ahead of us. Okay. I'm going to pick up just a few more things so we've got enough for, like, a hatchet and whatnot. Do you want to pick something to research, or...? Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some wandering. I'm sorry, but the, the funny part is, he says logic dictates there should be more of these around. Logic dictates we shouldn't be a centimeter tall. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Don't forget to scan a rock too, if you can, because then we can uh, make the the hatchets. Do it right? right now. Oh, perfect. Oh, I don't have any thistle needles. Uh, did I get them? Let me check. Right. So. I know that there's a mosquito somewhere on this island, but otherwise, nothing can get to us out here. No spiders can patrol out here, nothing. Nice. One long schnoz built for sniff. Now, if we can take out that mosquito, we can get access to a really powerful tier two weapon. Here. I don't know if you have one of those yet. Uh, not yet, I do now, <laughs> thank you. No worries. Don't forget to equip it in your accessory slot. <laughs> Ooh, more honeydew. Good. I might not starve to death. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's make some crude ropes. We'll clap five of them. There we go. Uh, mushroom slurry. We got a question mark here. Okay. So I got 22 mushrooms, but I guess there's another ingredient we need. Um, for which part? For food? Yeah. 
Choke it down, Pete. Um, I'm not sure, cause you can. I think you can eat the mushrooms raw. Yeah, but there's a uh, the one you when you examine it, it got mushroom slurry. Yeah, but mushroom slurry isn't something that we can eat. No, what do we use it for then? Um, you can feed it to weevils to oh, tame for them. Pets. Yeah. And you can bake it into bricks for mushroom, like, walls and stuff, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I thought i go ahead and make a clover hood. It's not letting me. Not letting you do what? Uh, craft a clover hood. Oh, you need the workbench. Uh, okay. So, and we also need a fire pit. Yes. Let me take care of that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, roasting spit. We need dry grass chunks, and there's tons of that all over the island. <laughs> and I just tripped over, like, all that grass. Nice. <laughs> You can. You just have to use the slurry stuff, I guess. Okay. I need roasting pebbles. spit. There aren't a lot of those on this island, I don't think. Cook that, cook that. Alright, I've got some. I hear it's good luck to see a fire. Let me see, where are you? Oh here? crap. What? That's a firefly. Um, Let's not attack it. <laughs> yeah. Because if I remember correctly, they are neutral. And yeah. Very tanky. Very tanky. Come here, you little green sausage. You're not actually thinking about eating one of those, are you? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know. That reminds me. Let me see if I can craft craft the horse. Crunch. We need acorns. I need more than that. Uh, okay. okay. Ah! Let, let, let there be a light. light. Hey, so how do we know when they're done cooking so they don't burn? They, they look, look toasty, toasty and, and I don't think, think they actually burn. burn. They, they, they like, oh, if, if it shows, shows a hand over top of it. Grab it? If you can pick it up, it like says nat roast. Uh, weevil roast and whatnot. Yeah, weevil roast, nat roast, but the other one says raw, so you can't, you know, pick it up yet, or shouldn't. And if you just hold down E, I think you can eat it right away. You don't even have to pick it up. Ooh, here's some. Uh, Excuse me. Um, I've really got to reorganize my hot bar. This is really throwing me off. That. That craft. I need one more pebble. There we go. Now I can put that in my three bar. Ha ha! But well, when it says we will roast, that means it's done, right? Yes. All right. Now I'll put. I got two more. We can put on there. Perfect. Uh, here All you right. go. Uh, let me oh. go to the inventory. I'll throw some of these out for you. What is the drop? Is that that? Thank you. I only need the two. I think. Huh. Let me double check. Me yeah, two of them fills me up completely. So you can take that one back. Oh, I still got three. Oh, okay. Then I'll take it. I've been hunting them on the way uh, here while we're getting, making our way here. Got it. Just pretend it's beef jerky. And you got one extra, and I got one extra. Perfect. All right. All right. Uh, I think next we should probably sleep through the night. Good idea. I'm ready to eat my pillow. I'm so tired. <laughs>
my uh my little um watch just made a funny noise and I'm not quite sure why. Oh, I'm out of water. That's what it is. Yeah. There's some dew. Damn. I'm gonna I was full when he went to bed and now he's almost starving again. Yeah. Wait, I'm wait. noticing eat that really quick. This is where the honeydew or the aphid honeydew is gonna be really helpful. There should be tons of it around this island. Oh, and it fills up your water too. Ooh. Uh, here's a droplet if you want to come over here and try and catch it. Uh, I'm trying to eat my food, but it's, there we go. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. There's there's one right there. You might be able to jump and reach, or I can knock this one down. Okay, I'll knock it down. Ready? Ah. Try this one. No ah, I got a rock. Go. If you throw a rock at it, it doesn't always break. Yeah, the problem is, is if it hits other water. Like, like that. <laughs> it's okay. We're good. But now we have a semi base of operations. Uh, I think we need to. Oh wait, uh, we wanted to build the workbench so that we could build some armor, right? Yeah, I figured we'd clear out an area that we'll pick the area we want to build in, we'd clear it out, and then we'll okay. at least get a semi-structure up. Were we clearing out up here? Was that where uh, we you could, picked? Uh, yeah, since Ooh. you got the fireplace right there. I can move the fireplace, though. Just press F, you can... Move stuff however you need oh, to. Oh, that's handy. Okay. I'll keep a clearing out, too. <laughs> See, this part of survival games um, is the fun part to me. I like the grind to put your base together and get your stuff together. Yeah, same. It, that's part of the reason why I love playing uh, Seven Days to Die so much. Yep. I haven't played that in a while, actually. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. It's just, it gets I boring when you play it by yourself. Yeah, because you eventually get to the point where you're just surviving every horde and you're just like, oh, well, what do I do now? Well, it's that, and there's also all the grinding. Yeah. When you got, like, two or more people doing it, it uh, you can have split it up so it's not overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> and I've always played that alone, so I've never had the opportunity to, like, spec into a specific class. I always have to jack-of-all-trades it. Yeah. So, and that kind of makes, in my opinion, it makes it uh, even more boring. Yes. Because, you know, you can only, you know, spec into all the spills, you know, so many times before it's like, okay, I want to try something new, but I can't. Yeah. I'd love to be just the crafter, but then who's going to build all the you know, fortifications or whatever. Right. And I'm the exact opposite. I love uh, doing, building up all the fortifications and stuff, and that's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I like the gear. I like being able to, you know, go and grind the materials and then build whatever I want, like build a new shotgun or whatever. Yeah. See, we'd make so. a perfect team on that in the future sometime. Hell yeah, we're going to have to give it a shot. Got to get out of the backyard first, though. Yes. <laughs> I'm just picking it all up, cleaning up the area. I'm just basically trying to pick up all the little stuff that doesn't require hauling. Where are we putting the hauling? Okay, right here. All right, <laughs> while we're doing that, I'm going to craft the workbench, or at least get started on the workbench, because we can, we can move it. Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's one thing uh, in 
the uh, vanilla Fallout that I wish it was like uh, Undead Legacy or uh, Darkness Falls is you can actually move everything in vanilla you can't right okay I am going to there is a uh, roast on the pit spit here Okay, I picked one up just a second ago, so... There's two there, so... Okay, perfect. I'm actually... Whoops. Sorry. No worries. Did that pause you, too? It did. Oh, okay. So, I didn't mean to. No worries. I'm assuming you were doing a screenshot. Uh, no, I, I accidentally was trying to drop something, and my key bindings are right on top of each other, so... Ah. I see. Because you know it's man. it's it's G to drop and it's P to take a screenshot and I have those both bound right on top of each other. Oh, oops. I have a little razor keypad, so. Oh, you got the fancy one. Uh, yeah, I got it originally for school because I was doing a lot of video editing, and so it just made things really quick, and then it turned out to be useful for gaming too. So. Hey, two for one. Yeah. All right, I'm going to explore the pond a little bit and see if I can't find a few drops of sap on some of the floating sticks. Cool. Because we need two of those for uh, the workbench. Uh... Oh, I see sap from here. We're good. I just need to not get eaten by a water flea. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I have two of those uh, dandelions if you want one. I have one. Thank you. JK. Okay. I got the sap. The nose. The nose. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need too much more for the armor, though knowing my luck. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of clovers for that all around the islands, and I got a ton in my storage. I just meant more sap. Then oh, we're good. I don't have. <laughs> uh, okay. In theory, all geared up. lower body, head, and poncho. Light armor and fuller, so we get hungry and uh, hungry slower. Is that what that means? Uh, I would assume so. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to see if I can't kill a water flea. Good luck. I got to uh, build my armor first. Got one. I'm going to keep the water flea meat. I'm going to keep that on us so that we can research it. I'm going to hot craft a bunch of storage baskets, I think. Right. Whoops. No. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Head. Now. Legs and upper Dang. body. We're going native man. Hell yeah. Imagine it's a fruit powder. Yes, imagine that fruit pounder. <laughs> okay, sprig, sprig, sprig. I'm going to rename these baskets based on what's primarily in them. And then need more clover leaves, because of course I do. I got plenty if you want me to drop some for you instead of having to hunt uh, them You down. can honestly just build those baskets if you'd like. Uh, workbench, right? No, the there. I put the blueprints down. You just need to okay. tap E over top of them. There you go. And I had the rope. There you go. Okay, I'm going to put rope in this one. Whoops. Would help if I spelled rope right. 
Just rope. And... Peblets. So I think this is going to be the best area for us to build, right here. What do you think? Sorry, I lost sight of you. Oh, uh, yeah. It's nice and flat, and honestly, we can expand out to the entire area if we need to. Uh. It's not terribly flat, so it wouldn't be like one conjoined thing, but if we wanted to put like... I know we can build like garden plots. We could put a garden down here. Yeah, it all depends on how elaborate we want to get. Yeah. Hey, I'm all for elaborate. All right. Uh, Picking up a few more. Uh, did you figure out how to do the uh, floor yet? How to do the... Yes. Um, apparently, it's part of the... Um, it's part of the main story quest. We have to go and find something at the oak tree in order to unlock the... Um, the floor foundations. All right, you want to go ahead and... Uh, I think we've cleared out enough area. We could pro probably head out and do that. Uh, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, let me just clear out my inventory. So, hot deposit. I, see Aha, I love that feature. I see a crow. You see a crow? Yep. Where's he at? Right overhead now. Oh, crap. <laughs> at a... Bracing one frame a second. <laughs> um. All right, so we're good with the. Oh wait, what do we have the? We don't have the storage markers for any of that yet. Okay. Uh, right. What do we need next? Briggs in that one. Briggs in that one. I have water flea meat. I have these. I have gnat fuzz. I'm going to leave that here. Um, I didn't make rope. Pebblets. Uh, I'm going to keep my pebbles on me. And well, that's I totally will, fine. I only got four of them, so. Did you? Are you in this last basket? Yes, sir. Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of it locks me out from, uh, from accessing it when you're inside of it. Oh, I'm bad. My bad. Sorry. No, no, no. It's totally fine. I was just wondering why I did that. All right. So I'm gonna keep that. Keep anything on you that we haven't researched yet, so that we can do uh, that. Have we done dry grass yet? Uh, does it have an exclamation point next to it? Yes. I'm, then I'm we analyze, it. and I also got a weevil nose. All right. And I have the water flea meat as well. All right. Okay. Lead the, so, lead the way, party leader. Um, let's go back because I think we have to activate the machine first. Okay. And fix the lasers, and then it'll tell us to go to the tree. I think. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Gotcha, ha -ha. Got you, bitch. Haha. I'll take that. Water fleas. They kind of hit like a truck, but if you can get a good hit on them or two, they're a really easy meal. Sorry, I picked it up. <laughs> no worries. It's a bad habit that I have from playing by myself. I immediately pick up whatever I'm facing, so if I do that too much, please let me know. <laughs> oh, no. I'm more than happy to let you do that, because I do the same thing, uh, but I always split everything with the party. Yes, I'll split anything and give you whatever you want or need. I just, it's a bad habit of mine. I always pick up very quickly, and I'm a loot whore, so. Uh, maybe we can find uh, two of the silencers that are uh, willing to play the ladies for this game. What do you think? Maybe. I don't see why not. Put I'll, put a, I'll put a bolo out. Oh, hey, hey, hey. gotcha. Weevily boy. You know, I don't think I've actually made a spear yet. What do I hear? What the hell is that? It's our doom. Oh, it's it's might. Hey, I remember the first trial we did, we both died to those guys. Yep, but I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to avoid them entirely this time. But we'll see. Well... In that case, run! 
I'll leave. Yeah. I'll let to meet you. There's more flesh on your character. <laughs> just remember, in a zombie apocalypse, you don't have to be faster than everybody else. Just faster than the slowest person. Right, right. Uh, I lost track of your name tag. Just head towards the mystery machine. Because uh, I kind of hauled ass. Uh, I'm by the Puncho juice bar, or Tropic Puncho. Don't even need to boil it. Whoa, why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? Whee! I hear you. Oh, there you are. Run, run, run. Oh, I was spear yet. <laughs> Ow. Um, okay. Ow. Beat you. Beat you. What are you eating? What are you fighting? Mites. Oh. <laughs> well. I got him. I punched, you got him? I punched him to death. Okay. Now I'm going to get the other one with the rock. I am a brutal fighter. <laughs> hey. You do what you have to survive, man. Uh, Where are you? I just saw your name tag and then it disappeared. Run oh, there you from are. the mite. <laughs> if you can see my name tag, run towards me. All right. Oh, name tag, name tag, name tag. I see your head. There it is. <laughs> the best punch to the gut you'll ever take. Oh, it's true. Speaking from experience. No. no. Okay. Here. Hello. There. Ooh, spear. Now you are not un, uh, not undefended. <laughs> I shall now skewer my enemies for my feast. Ah. So where is the... Oh, jeez, we're way far away from the mystery machine. Yeah, because over here... Hmm. Oop, I'll follow you. Sorry. I'm just looking at the juice container here. Uh, pick up a drop of juice if you find one. There's two over here if you want to come over where I'm at. Uh, I'm coming. Where's the other one? Right there. Oh, did you already have one? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That was a double droplet. Yeah. Won't, won't complain there. Um, let's see. I love the sound design for this game. Oh, yeah. And the ambient noise. I mean, wow. Yeah. Weren't you saying that they use super sensitive microphones to, like, capture some of the bug sounds? Yeah, that's what I, uh, I watched a YouTube video on it. When that's really That cool. was describing it. And uh, basically, they were stock sounds from insect uh, scientists. Huh. Well, that's good to know. I mean... If I ever get shrunk down really tiny, I know exactly what kind of spider to avoid. <laughs> if you uh, ever watch like some Discovery channels and stuff like that, there's uh, Ooh. audio. Go ahead. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of. Yeah, a lot of discoveries. Uh, uh, not discoveries. Uh. Uh, what are they called? The I mean, I am when they they're covering the a specific subject. Uh, I am tiny. Um, documentaries? Yeah, documentaries. There's a lot of insect documentaries, and it explains how they get the sound for a lot of movies and games, like the cicada. Cool. Uh, I'll chop down this one. Excuse me. In my experience, that's ninety-nine percent of what using a computer is all about. These things are never gonna catch on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, and that's the one that's glitchy. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Take that, vampires. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I need some sap, and so do you. Because you're down to half health. I see that. 
Let's get some bandages before we go too much further then. Here's some sap. Oh, I hear mites. Yeah. Let's... Where are you? On um, the branch by the baseball. Okay. Stay up there. I just got a sap. Uh, bandages. Uh, I have a bandage. If you want it. Nah, let me see if I can make one myself. Okay. For some reason, I get keep getting that exclamation mark on the crafting. I think I'm supposed to craft, like, the pebble and stuff. For myself, for the quest. What do you mean? <laughs> I need one more drop. Um, you, you mean on the crafting menu how you have the little exclamation points? Yeah, on the top. I still got survival and go home for a quest. Uh, hmm. Craft I, uh, pebble axe. Let me see if I can do that real fast. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to craft those really quick. I'll I'll hold tight. Um, the hell time is it? That's 4 p.m. already. I'm gonna go to the. Uh, little field station over here and research the few things that I have in my inventory. Gotcha. Alright, for Pebble Axe. Alright. I need Might. sprigs. Might Fuzz gives us access to arrows. The bandage gives us nothing but brain power. And the dry grass gives us Ooh, stem pallets and plank pallets. So we have storage for uh, for our stuff now. Nice, nice. I am going to gather just a few materials because we're going to need lean-tos. We can put them on top of the, um, the baseball so we can sleep through the night. Mm, I can At make least arrows. You have a make arrows quest? No, I can make them. It's under crafting. Oh, yeah. We just unlocked them. <coughs> yes. Fuzz on the rocks. Okay. Okay. Give me that. And one more clover should do. But just because I count poorly, I'm going to grab one more. <laughs> uh, well, you know, somehow uh, 10 of one thing turns into 50 of it when I open the menu back up. So I'm coming up to you with all the materials for uh, two lean twos. Okay. I'm just trying to do the axe. Oh, shit. Fell off the baseball. Craft a pebble axe, which I just did. Now it's saying go home. I'm assuming that's going to be a long long-term uh, quest. I think that's our long like a long-haul quest if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe you're right. Uh, let me find that little twig. I'll climb back up there with you. Okay. So we can There's... sleep through the night. Oh, that's right. Ah. Come on now. There we go. I kept trying to jump on the branch and I kept jumping over it. It's all good. I don't know about all right. Well, yeah, we're two centimeters tall. I love the transitions. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I, like I said, the the sound um, sound design alone on this is phenomenal. Okay, there's another sap, and I am going to craft up. Uh, no, I'm not. I need two sap for that. 
Okay. Alright, so... Do the laser? There's the laser. You will be dinner. I'm killing every single one I can find. Don't let the red mites bite. Hate arachnids. <laughs> oh, they're chewing on the cables. Oh, that's right. We gotta clear it. Oh, and that one instantly died. <laughs> Not gonna complain there. Are you down inside already? Yep. Good night. You're quick. Yeah, I get a little hyper when I get started on missions. That's totally fine. Don't forget to block. Ooh, slime molds. That's always been my a bad habit I have. I forget to block. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the first thing I do in a video <coughs> game is I'm like, I'm just going to block forever. Ooh, uh, do you have a pebblet hammer already? Uh, I no, no, let me check. Well, you're about to have all the materials you'd ever want for it. No, I need one more sprig before I can do one. Well, we're about to have a ton of pebblets, so. Ooh, I'm winded. Yes, you do have a stamina in this one. Yeah, I keep forgetting that because I don't hit it very often, but when I do, it's the worst time. Right, right. You got an extra sprig? Uh... I do. Uh, how do I... I just... There you go. Oh, as uh, as we come across a bunch that are... Right there. Right I there. Saw that right when you dropped it, it was like, okay. <laughs> oh, here's a Gabby. Additional flavor scheme available. Okay. So that's like a UI skin. No idea what that means, so. So if you hit your tab button and go into OS. <laughs> tab button. Um, yes, yeah, hit tab and go to OS at OS. the very top. Okay. You see Dane mode, Scab B classic. You can actually change what it looks like at certain oh, times. Oh, nice. I got Scab Knight uh, LTD. It's supposed to be like some kind of collectible. Um, some kind of collectible, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> Do I get sick if I eat raw meat? Or is it just not very filling? Uh, I think you can get sick. Oh, yep. It says it'll make you sick. Okay. I'm a little low on... Oh, wait. I have some aphid. We're good. Uh, let me see. I think I need... I was about to starve to death. Uh, yeah. I got aphid as well, which needs to be oh. consumed. The Bug the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that there are actually some species of ants that... Um, that uh, cultivate aphids. They'll actually like keep them as pets to eat their honeydew. Yep. There are also uh, some uh, beetles, if I recall correctly, as well. I believe so. Um, let me craft up another bandage, and then we uh, need to go back and activate the thing, because we fixed the laser. It looks like it's working. Alright. I'll follow you. Uh, I wouldn't I'm follow just... me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you're coming down with a bug, Bubba. No, I'm getting rid of a bug. I had uh, swine flu here about two, three weeks ago. Oh, ouch. And, uh, yeah, it kind of kicked my ass. I can imagine. And I just still have the cough. All right, so wow, makes me jump. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think it's supposed to, this thing's supposed to make it big. And it looks like something went horribly, horribly wrong. It went boom. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is David Colette again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as I said in the beginning, this is going to be part of an ongoing series. Um, if you enjoyed what you watched, please uh, hit uh, uh, the like button and subscribe. Nope, gotta start over. That was shitty. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, I hope uh, you enjoyed Minecast Collab, uh, this is going to be an ongoing series, I uh, hope you liked it, enjoyed what you saw, and look forward to the next video, if so, please hit the like and subscribe, and go visit uh, Cast at Control Alt Silence, uh, his YouTube channel, and check out his videos. Thank you again. Have a wonderful night, wonderful morning, whichever it is for you. Peace out.